Amen. I'm glad that by the grace of God, one March morning I made my call and election sure. Amen. By the grace of God, I, amen. One on March the 10th of 2013, brother, I, amen. I found I found life in that fountain that somebody testified of this morning. Amen. I got filled up with that with that fountain. That amen. That Jesus come down to Jacob's well, and that woman was down there. But amen. She, he told her about a fountain that she couldn't see. He told her about a fountain that. Amen. She'd never drawn water out of. You come down here and you ain't got nothing to drink. Amen. Amen. How is it that you, amen, ask a drink of me being a Samaritan, you being a Jew? Amen. He said, Woman, if you knew who you was talking to, I'd give you a drink of living water. You'd never thirst again. Well, brother, I'm glad I met the same one. Amen. The well, the well of living water. Come down to Jacob's well one day. Amen. He come down to me one day. Praise his holy name. I'm glad. I've been born again. Glad I know the Lord. If you've got your Bible, it's going to be in Mark chapter number 13. Mark 13, I ask you to stand. Amen. I don't know what I don't know what the Lord's going to do. I just want to give you what God has laid on my heart. And amen. That's all I know to do. Amen. And if you've got something you need to do for God, I say just do it. Amen. It ain't going to bother me. You praising the Lord. Well, amen. God tells you to do something while I'm preaching. That walk around. Amen. I mean, you say, God, don't do that. Amen. Amen. God's looking for you to lose your dignity and your pride and just obey God. Amen. That's what them, what they have that we didn't have. I'll tell you what they didn't have. They didn't have no as much pride as people's got right now. Amen. That's why, that's why, Earl, that you wanted a little bit of what they had a lot of because you saw God move in them. Amen. And, amen. They obeyed God. They weren't worried about what so and so was thinking about them. They weren't worried about somebody would think as a fanatical. They weren't worried about that somebody would think as just putting on a show. Somebody's going to think that about you. Amen. Don't even worry about it. I mean, somebody's going to accuse you, amen, of just doing it to be seen. But, amen, but it's between you and God. And when God tells you to do it, then praise the Lord, just do it. Amen, just do it. Amen, amen. God knows your heart. All right, Mark 13 and verse number 32. The Bible said, But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not, when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crow or in the morning, lest coming suddenly find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Amen. You help me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we, I thank you, God, again for another time. I, Lord, to just pray and God to come to you. I thank you, God, for what we failed. And Lord, just, I, God, just everything that's been said today, I, God, that was according to thy will. We, I thank you for it, Lord. And God, I, I pray now, God, that you'd anoint me. I, Lord, so undeserving. God, I know that I am. I, I Lord, I don't deserve to stand. I, I God, behind this sacred desk. I, but God, I pray that that anointing would come down. And Lord, the same Spirit, God, I, that made me worthy of heaven. I, I, the same Spirit, God, I, that, amen, the Lord, that took away my sin. I, that baptized me, I, Lord, into the body of Christ. I, I pray that through that sweet Spirit of God, I, you'd anoint me now, Lord. And God, supply every need. I, I, Lord, that's in this building. I, I, God, bless you people I pray. I, I, Lord, I just pray God that, I, Lord, that you'd open up the windows of heaven. I, I, Lord, pour out God a blessing. I, Lord, as you already have. And bless your word today, God. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Now, the thought that God had laid on my heart, amen, is watching and waiting. Amen. Watching and waiting. Now, brother, I can remember as a young boy, amen, maybe when things, amen, was coming up in my life, maybe something on the calendar, amen, I can remember I thought about coming up the road. How that, brother, amen, you start counting down the days when you're 
youngin'. Have the summer vacation. I mean, when you're in school, you look forward to that little last week in May, first week in June. I brother, when, amen, when school, amen, every day is over with for two and a half, for three months. I mean, you look forward to that day. And brother, you go to school every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Amen, dreading it every day. I mean, I remember them days. Amen, dreading getting up and going. Amen, but always looking forward to the day that would come. When, amen, they said, you're held. Amen, to August, you're held. To the middle of August. Amen, oh, I was just so watching. I was just so waiting for that day. But brother, amen, you start in the summer. Amen, the beginning of fall. And you go on through fall. And you get down in the winter. I'd brother, like we are right now. And then spring rolls around. And brother, you look around and see. I know I didn't need a calendar. I brother to know that summer was a coming. But everything around me told me that day was closer. I brother, everything around me told me that day was coming. I what brother, that's the way it is. I was the coming of the Lord. I brother, everything I see that tells me that days are coming. I see the wickedness of men. I see the wickedness of women. And brother, it grows worse and worse. And the Bible said, amen, that they in the last days, that men, brother, amen, men's hearts would wax cold. And that because of iniquity, brother, would abound. And that the love of many, brother, would wax cold. Well, that's what we're seeing now. Men and women don't love like they used to. Churches don't love our brother like they used to. But oh, I remember what Jesus amen, told us in the Bible. He said, when you see brother, all these things begin to come to pass. I look up. I lift up your head for your redemption. I draw it now. I want to tell you, child of God, amen, some of you, you testified, amen, about things you're going through, and some of you didn't, and maybe some that didn't, you're still going through things, and you've got battles in your life, I mean, brother, I know you do, we all do, but I want to tell you tonight, today, amen, to look up, and lift up your head, I was just watching and waiting, our brother on a better land. How yeah. we're just watching and waiting. Our brother on Jesus. How the Bible said that when he gave man, when the when the disciples, Amen, was out there, and the Lord had ascended, our brother into heaven. How can you imagine how sorrowful, our brother, that they must have been? Had the man that they'd walk with, had the man they'd been with every day, our brother had just left them and then went up into heaven and there they stood gazing up into the sky and the Bible said the angel I said ye men of Galilee why stand you here gazing amen into heaven at the same Jesus that went away and shall come again in like manner also as you've seen him go away I will brother I'm not looking for amen for the church had to figure out the problems of the world. I'm not looking for the Democrats had to the Republicans had to figure out the problems and give us the answers. I'm not looking I'd rather for it to get any better but I'm looking for that day when the Lord I shall step out on the heaven on the cloud. I'm looking in the eastern sky for that glorious appearance 
how the Bible said how that he gave himself for us how to redeem us from all iniquity and to purify to himself a peculiar people how zealous of good works and the Bible said and then the amen and that when he redeemed us from that he acted like he told that woman amen called in the act of adultery he said go and sin no more I want brother God save me from my sin and because that he did that I'm just standing here watching I'm just standing here waiting I brother on my redemption I'm down here waiting I brother I don't know if you try it's going to be over with and before you die but I know when the Lord comes it ain't going to matter I know when the Lord comes it ain't going to matter to you no more hey man it's all going to be over I don't want no one thing I bet whatever it is I the Bible said at this momentary a lot of affliction you got and when the Lord comes I brother it ain't going to be nothing to you how you going to forget it I the Bible said he'd wipe all tears I brother from our eyes and all the former things I'm going to pass away I will brother I'm just waiting I'm just watching on the redemption of my body Amen. I'm just so waiting for it. I'm just so waiting for it. Amen. That's all I'm doing down here. Uh, brother, I got things I like to do. Amen. But I don't want mistakes. I drove too deep here. I'm just so waiting on redemption. I'm just so waiting on redemption. I'm just so waiting on redemption. Amen. Brother, ain't going to be no more. Amen. Your arm ain't going to be in a sling. Hallelujah. Amen. Ain't going to be no more crying. Ain't going to be no more tears. Years uh, uh, falling from your eyes. Uh, uh, but, brother, what are we doing? Uh, uh, we're watching. Uh, uh, we're waiting uh, on our Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I love Him. Amen. The Bible said. Amen. That Paul told Timothy. He said, Know this. Uh, amen. That the Spirit that speaketh expressly, and that in the latter days. Amen and men, amen and men. Amen will be lovers of their own self. Amen that men would give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Brother, amen, that is the day we live in. Amen, you've seen men and women that used to be in the house of God. And now they give heed to seducing spirits. And now they give heed to doctrines of devils. Men and women that used to be in the house of God. Our brother, now they're on the outside. Have they been led away yeah. by every wind of doctrine? That's why you need hard preaching. That's why you need the Word of God. Yeah. And that's why you ought to read it every day. Yeah. Because, brother, if you ain't rooted and you ain't grounded in this Bible, yeah. then when somebody comes along with something that sounds good and something that tastes good, then you'll eat it all up. Yeah. And, brother, you'll be led away. And, but, oh, Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stay right here in the old paths. And brother, I'm going to stay right here and just watch and wait on my God. I just say, preacher, amen, oh, just look at this church, how good they're doing. I look at the crowd, they God. But brother, I'd rather stay here at the remnant and that God has. Amen, and know that my soul is in the Lamb's book of life. And what brother, the old song said, I'd rather be in a deep dark grave yeah. and know that my poor soul my brother was saved I've been to live in this world amen have everything it's got to offer amen deny my God and lose my soul my brother I'm glad today that God's put me right here how do you know what the Bible said thou art my hiding place I'm going to stay right here in my hiding place and brother I'm going to say amen that's what I'm going to do and watch and wait on the coming of God. I'm going to stay right here. I'm watching wait on my Redeemer. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. What is your affliction right now? It ain't nothing. Amen. What is everything you're going through right now? It ain't nothing. Amen. Amen. I'd like to, I wish I knew every heart and knew what to say to everyone. 
Amen, but I don't, amen, don't, I don't know that. Amen, I'm, I'm glad I don't actually. Amen, the responsibility that be. But God knows every heart. And that's why God can anoint a man. Amen, to preach what's on, amen. What you need in your life. And he ain't got no idea, brother, about what you're going through. Amen, oh, I want to tell you, friend, I just keep on watching. I just keep on waiting. I keep on holding the line. I keep on living for God. The Bible said when Elijah, our brother, he got down there in the cave. Amen, Je- Amen Jezebel. And brother Ahab, they wanted to kill him. They, amen, Jezebel was so mad because Elijah, our brother, was a man of God. And Jezebel was after Baal. But the Bible said that God took old Elijah and brother put him out in the cave. And brother, you know what I'm going to do? I'm God's put me in a place, that brother, where I can hide. I'm not talking about the building. That brother here at Valley View. But God has put me in Christ. And brother, I can hide in him. And while I'm here in him, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep on watching. I'm going to keep on waiting. I, brother, the world's going to get worse. I sin's going to get worse. Amen, amen, more. I, more people's going to be on drugs. I, more people's going to kill themselves. I, there's going to be more drunkards. There's going to be more young ladies that's whoring their body out. I'm going to be more young men. I, brother, it ain't nothing but whoremongers. I, that's going to get like that. I, but me and you, the children of God, I, we're going to watch and wait on the Lord. Amen. That's what we're going to do, ain't it? Amen. I see it all come to pass. Amen. I'm just looking up. I'm just looking up. I'm just looking up. No more preaching. Amen. No more preaching. Amen. Oh, amen. But I know what I'm going to do over there. Amen. I can't do much up down here. Amen. I'm going to sing a song. Amen. The song of the redeemed. Amen. When Moses come out of Egypt, that brother God give him a song. Amen. When Moses come out of Egypt, that brother God, amen, Moses wrote a song. That brother there in the Old Testament. But oh, it's amen. I don't know. Amen. What we're going to sing up there. But I know the angels don't know nothing. Brother, about what we're going to sing. Because the Bible said how we'd sing the song of the redeemed. I will brother them that watch and wait amen on the Lord it's all going to be worth it after all how the Bible said and to them that look for him he shall appear at the second time without sin unto salvation brother I'm looking for Jesus I'm looking for Jesus brother when I get up in the morning I want to be looking for him and when I lay my head down at night I want to be looking for him. I thank you, Lord. I feel the Lord today. Brother, I'm so glad. I've got somebody to look to. I've got somebody to look for. Brother, there was a little old woman down there at the assisted living in Duffield. I told you this before, I think. But she said, my boyfriends are coming. He's going to get me out of here. My boyfriends are coming. He's going to get me out of here. Brother, I didn't know what she meant. And I don't know if she did or not. But I got to thank about it later and maybe she knew what she's talking about but oh amen the Bible said that we've been a spouse to another the Bible said that there were five wise virgins and there were five foolish virgins and the Bible said the bridegroom come and they said go ye out to meet him but the foolish were out there I brother abide their all but the wise were there ready to meet God I want to be with the five wives. I want to be ready to meet God. I want it's all over with. I, brother, I'm watching and waiting on Him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you imagine the sound? Amen. I can't. Somebody said Gabriel's going to blow the trumpet. Show me that in the Bible. It don't mention Gabriel's name. Amen. The trump shall sound the voice of the archangel. Amen. I don't know. It could be Michael. Amen. The voice of the archangel. Amen. The Bible said. 
Amen, amen. And all the dead in Christ is going to rise first. Amen, I'm glad for a resurrection. I don't have to go to Israel to see it. I, brother, I don't have to see no empty tomb. I'm going to ask me how I know he lives. He lives inside my heart. Ask me how I know he lives. He made a change in my life. I glory, hallelujah. I'm so glad I know God. I glory, hallelujah. I'm so glad I've got a better place. I'm glad there's a dead land out yonder beyond. I just smell the tears of what we're going to if we're right with God. Amen. Amen. No more sorrows. Trouble and sorrows go in one day. Amen. Amen. We'll soon be done with them. Amen. All the cares of this life. Amen. The Bible said that the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter days. Amen. That men, our brother, they amen, leave the faith. Amen. They'd go out and follow after seducing spirits. How that they'd command to abstain from meats. Amen. Now, if you used to go to the doctor, amen, any doctor worth this, amen, worth, amen, worth anything, they tell you, amen, some things are bad for you. Amen, some things you ought not eat. How, but brother, I'm going to tell you, amen, it really ain't going to matter when it's over. How, because we're all going to die anyway. Amen, every one of us is going to die. How, and ain't nobody wants to die. How, brother, before their time. But the Bible said in the same passage of Scripture talking about these last days Paul told Timothy he said young man he said they're going to come and they'll come amen forbid to marry amen they'll say ain't no need to marry I just shack up I mean those people probably had that years ago come to Valley View and maybe even sung behind this pulpit and maybe lifted their hands in praise and they're shack up right now. How they gave heed at the seducing spirits. How they gave heed at the doctrines of devils. But the Bible said, Amen. They nothing to be refused. Amen. Amen. You worry about. If I should eat this or eat that. I ain't saying you're taking amen. That you shouldn't take care of yourself. But the Bible said that everything is good and nothing to be refused. If it's received with thanksgiving. And for it's sanctified and by the word of God and prayer. And the Bible went on to say and that bodily man, he said, exercise yourself. And Timothy, in this word of faith, he said, for bodily exercise, it profiteth little. And but godliness is profitable in all things. And brother, there's something I need to exercise. I'm more than my outward man. It's my inward man. He needs to grow in the grace the knowledge of my Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So while we're down here, amen, I ain't gonna go. Amen. Spend everything I got try to live longer. Amen. Because I'm just watching and waiting on the Lord to come. Amen. I ain't gonna. I mean, like I said, I mean, if anybody in here found out that Amen. I mean, if you had, if you had cancer, you'd try to. Amen. And they, and they, it's stage one or something. They said we think we can get it. I believe everybody in here'd go have a treatment. Amen. I mean, there's something in you wants to live. I believe, man. What I'm saying is, there's coming a day where it ain't gonna matter no more. Amen. Amen. So don't get so bent out of shape. I worry about if you're gonna make it or not. Amen. Because if you're in God, you are gonna make it. And you might not make it too much longer down here. But brother, we're just watching and waiting on the. Lord to come and if you're going through a trial you just keep on watching and waiting for the Lord to come amen he's a coming one day amen amen the Bible said Paul told Timothy again in another place amen he said now in the last days perilous times shall come how men should be lovers of their own selves amen amen they'd be proud amen we got that don't we Amen, they'd be proud. They'd be blasphemers. Brother, we got that. 
Amen. They be boastful. Amen. Oh, you know we got that. I mean, people around the church are boasting on what they've done. Amen. Oh, it's everywhere. But brother, the Bible said that amen, that days are coming. How that days are coming. How that days are coming. It shouldn't surprise us. I brother that it's done here. Amen. Oh, it's here on top of us. But what are we going to do? How are we going to keep on watching and seeing all these things come to pass? I keep on waiting. He said, Watch. For you don't know the hour. You don't know the day. But I'm coming in the clouds. Amen. He's coming. He's coming. Amen. I'm not a kid. I look forward to that day. Amen. That day is summer vacation, Brother Earl. Amen. It's marked on my count. Amen. I knew what day it was. I knew it was coming. And as it got closer, you know, the teacher put up there on the board 100 days. Amen. 99 days. And you count it down. And you count it down. Amen. I'm telling you what we're doing. I don't know the day. I don't know the hour. Amen. But oh, there's a God in heaven. And that he ain't a tarrying. Amen. He ain't a waiting around. But when the time comes, Brother Eugene, how we're going to leave this walks of life. How when the time comes, amen, through the resurrection. Amen. Whether we be in the grave or not, how we're going to leave this walks of life. How the Bible said the same spirit how that raised Christ from the dead that dwelleth inside of you. And he shall also how quicken your mortal body. How you just keep on a watching, child of God. And when the world gets worse and worse, I mean, all you can do is pray. But don't get so bent out of shape. That's your amen. You amen. That you're going to ring. God ain't wringing his hands. God ain't worried about it. God knows it's a coming. And God knows he's got a remnant. And now the Bible said, God, he's long suffering. I'm not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God don't want nobody to go to hell. But amen. God's got a, he's got a, a hand of mercy. He's got a hand of mercy. And brother, amen, but when the trumpet sounds, I them that rejected God, I they'll burn forever in a lake of fire. I but hallelujah, us that saved, I we're just a watching and waiting on Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't know. I don't know what you need this morning, but God told me to tell you, just keep on watching. Keep on waiting. Yeah. Amen. I ain't going to tell you that. Amen. God will see you through this trial. No. I can't promise you that. No. I mean, I, I promise He's going to be with you. Yeah. I can't promise you're coming out of it. No. I can't promise you that. Because the Lord may come before you do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The Lord may come before you do. Yeah. Amen. But if He does, Amen. How many of you is going to be waiting? How many of you is going to be, amen. How many of you is going to be watching? Amen. Them that look for Him. He shall appear the second time I without sin unto salvation. I, brother, that's what I'm looking for. I, the Bible said in the last days I, that they'd also not only be boastful, I, that they'd be amen inventors of the evil things. I, brother, amen, it's everywhere. I, inventors of evil things. That little cell phone I carry in my pocket. I, brother, it can be an evil thing. Amen, that television in your house. Amen, it can be an evil thing. I, that radio in your car. That can be an evil thing. But brother, we look around. Amen. And they're inventing all kinds of evil things. I mean, I don't know much about the abortion industry. But I guarantee you, have they made advances in that? Have they invented more way, how many easier ways to kill that baby? Have they invented a many easier ways how to murder that baby? How do you know what that is? That's an inventor of evil things. We're right here in the last days. And brother, I'm glad though. And that amen, those of us that's waiting, and those of us that's watching, he ain't gonna catch us as a thief in the night. I keep your eyes on Jesus because it's all gonna be over in just a little while. Amen. Weeping may endure for a night. Amen. But joy cometh in the morning. Y'all's testifying. Amen. Some of you start crying. Amen. And just make me cry. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. As a church, we hurt with each other. Amen. We hurt with each other. Amen. We suffer with each other. Amen. But the Bible said, do you know what we also do when we suffer? 
Amen. There's somebody else we suffer with. Amen. The Bible said that if we suffer with him, amen, we shall also reign with him. If we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. I will hallelujah, glory to his name. Amen, I'm gonna die. Amen, somebody sung it not long ago. I'm gonna die on the battlefield. I'm gonna die in the war. Amen, fighting for my Lord. Amen, oh, what better way to die and then die, amen, with your heart right with God. Oh, what better way to die and then die watching and waiting on the Lord to come. Amen, oh, it's gonna get worse. I ain't got no prosperity gospel. I ain't gonna tell you your billfold's gonna be lined with amen, amen, hundred dollar bills. I ain't gonna tell you you're gonna have a, amen, two million dollars in the bank. I ain't gonna tell you all that. I'm gonna tell you it's gonna wax worse. Yeah. It's gonna get worse. Yeah. But the Lord is a coming in the sky. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I love him. I'm thankful he's coming. Amen. They'd be proud. They'd be disobedient to parents. Amen. 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 We heard their testimony. Amen. Some of you, you know what it is too. Amen. Amen. Heard a little bit of what Jean said. Amen. About her situation. Amen. I mean, the devil tried to get in your house. The devil tried to get in my house. Amen. Amen. The devil wants to break up. He'll start. Amen. If he can get the youngin. Amen. If he can get the young and bring a black eye. Amen. On mommy and daddy trying to go to church and trying to live right. That's what the devil's going to do. That's what the devil's going to do. That's so you young people. Amen. When your mommy and daddy's going to church. Amen. You get a wild hair and think you're going to hurt. Amen. Go out there and I'd do whatever you're doing. Amen. Live like the world. It ain't just you. You're hurting. How You're hurting everybody around you. How You're hurting this church right here. You might not care about the church and you might not care about me but you better care about your family. Amen. You better care about your family. Amen. Well, amen. When the Lord tells you to live right and the devils are pulling at you. Amen. You better watch and wait because there's a day coming where judgment will be in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God for our young people. Amen. I do. I mean, we got some young people here. I believe it loves the Lord. Amen. I believe we do. But the devil's a amen, a pull you and get you out of the church, out of the house of God, and get your mind on everything else. Amen. Say, I ain't gonna listen to my mommy. I ain't gonna listen to my daddy. Amen. That's what the world. Amen. The world's are telling them right now that at 15 years old, if they want to get a COVID vaccine, it ain't none of mommy and daddy's business. Amen. Amen. That's what the world's are teaching them. That's what the world's are teaching them. Amen. Supposed to be a preacher. Amen. I tell you, amen. Rock over intermediate. Amen. Improved, approved a movie for him youngins to watch. Amen. Braden came home and said, We watched a movie at school. Got cussing in it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why we're in the shape we're in. That's why we're in the shape we're in. Amen. It ain't fit for my years to hear. Amen. Or none of yours neither. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm doing? And you know why I don't want to hear it? Because I'm a watching and a waiting on Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, disobedient. Amen. They make their own decisions, the world says. Amen. Hey, tell them what the world tells them. Amen. Amen. You're old enough to choose. You're old enough, five years old, pick if you're more a girl. Amen. You're old enough, five years old. Amen. Amen. Tell me if you want to be a woman or a man or not. Amen. I tell you what Jackie Fraser said. I brother in revival a couple years or two or three years ago. If some of you don't know if you're a man or a woman, ask some of these older people. They'll tell you, Amen, before you leave here. They'll tell you what gender you are. They'll tell you what sex you are. I brother, I ain't getting in politics. I, but I'm a preacher to you what's right. I ain't got no faith in the Republicans. I, most of them are going to hell too. I, don't you be deceived. I mean, some people in the church, they thought Donald Trump, I mean, I don't know why God laid this on my heart. They thought Donald Trump was the savior of the world. I but a fat, proud man, don't get right now. I voted for him, I did. I, because, amen, he did more for the church than anybody in my life. I but a fat, proud man, don't get right. He'll die and go to hell. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pride ain't a going. Pride ain't a going. Womanizers ain't a going. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hey Amen. That's well. I'm just watching and waiting. Amen. Amen. I see. Amen. The church run after somebody. Amen. Say it's amen. It's I mean. I mean. People tried to put it on him. Said he read. He read scripture at his inauguration. So has every other president that's ever been inaugurated. Amen. I mean, pray. I mean, I don't mean. I don't mean nothing. Amen. Amen. Obama. They amen. Put his hand on the Bible. Amen. Killing babies by the millions. Hi, brother, you think they're your friends? Hi, they ain't your friends. Hi, you better watch and wait on Jesus. Hi, you better look up to Jesus. Hi, because he's the only one that'll never let you down. Amen. He's the only one. Amen. I'll be right there with you every mile of the way. Amen. So why in the world? Wouldn't I just watch and wait on Him? Amen. I ain't looking for it to get no better. I'm just looking for the cloud. I'm just looking for the cloud. The Bible said they'd be disobedient to parents. Amen. I'm going to preach some done. Amen. Disobedient to parents. Amen. Amen. I mean, false accusers in the last days. It's amen. It's everywhere. Amen. People always coming up with something. Amen. Trying to run somebody down. Trying to talk about somebody. That so and so did this. That so and so did that. Amen. Until you see it with your own eyes. Amen. I learned that the hard way. I mean, people I had confidence in, I found out later on they wasn't nothing but a liar. Amen. I, amen. I took what they said. I let it shape what I thought about somebody. I thought that they was, amen, not right. And amen. Turns out that man was lying about everything that he said. Amen. Amen. But oh, you can't. Uh, the Bible said let God be true and let every man be a liar uh, brother if you let God be your truth uh, uh, the Bible said uh, uh, that Jesus told the, Lord, told the Father he said Lord uh, uh, sanctify them with thy truth uh, uh, thy word is truth uh, uh, this Bible right here is true uh, and brother the world's going to lie to you uh, but amen according to this Bible uh, my Lord's are coming uh, so I'm going to watch uh, I'm going to wait uh, on my Lord Amen. And if you have to go through a trial till he comes, he just keep on walking. He just keep on walking. The Bible said that Joel prophesied years and years and years ago of a time had come. He said, "Your young men's going. Amen. They're going to see visions. Amen. Your old men's going to dream dreams. Amen. Amen. Them young ladies going to be filled up with the Holy Ghost. He said, that day's are coming, Joel said. All them years before John the Baptist ever preached, all them years before Elizabeth and Mary was with the child, amen, there was a man out there by the name of Joel. Amen, saying there's a day coming. I, but I, amen, I read where Isaiah said, I behold, a virgin shall conceive and shall bring forth a child, and ye shall call his name Emmanuel, how which being interpreted is God with us. Now, brother, I don't know about you, but I'm not watching and waiting until so I can feel his presence I've already got him with me right now but I'm watching and waiting so that I may go to a better world that I may go to a better land that I may leave this old world and all the cares and all the sin it gets worse all the time it'll grieve your soul but just keep on waiting on the Lord Amen, Amen. Isaiah said the virgin's going to conceive Amen. She did. Isaiah said there won't be no beauty in him. No comeliness. Amen. He said his vision is going to be marred more than the sons of men. You know what that means to me? When he's up there on Golgotha's hill, you couldn't even tell that he's a man. Amen. He was beat beyond recognition. Couldn't even tell that he's a man. His visage was marred. More, some six, seven hundred years, however long it was, before Jesus was ever born. Isaiah prophesied of him. He said, surely, he has borne our griefs. Amen. He said, he, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. And the Lord had laid upon him the iniquity of us all. That brother Isaiah was talking about none other than the same one I'm waiting on. Isaiah was watching and waiting for the same Jesus that I'm waiting on. Amen. And so was Joel. And they waited for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Amen. No, no fulfillment of prophecy. Amen. Old Amos said, Amen. He said, There's going to come a time. 
Amen. There's going to come a time where it's going to wax worse. They're preaching the same thing. Amen. Old, old, the old writer said, there's going to come a time when there'll not be a famine for bread or water in the land of Israel, but there'll be a famine for the hearing of the word of God. And men and women would run to and fro and they will not be able to find the word of God. Amen. Amen. I know, amen, we can say whether that's future or not, it may be in part, but it's done been fulfilled in part too because there was 400 years. There was 400 years between the amen, the last book of the Old Testament until John the Baptist out there, the voice of one crying in the wilderness and there wasn't no word of God. There was a famine for the word of God and they were watching and they were waiting and they were watching and they were waiting. But Isaiah didn't only talk about amen, Jesus. He said, amen, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. And so the Bible said that Zion tried to close and the Bible said that Zechariah I was down there in the priest's house, amen, doing his duties and here come the angel of the Lord and said, Zechariah, how you gonna have a boy? And they meant his name's gonna be called John and he said, my wife is barren, how shall I have a boy? He said, hey, amen, what shall be the sign and that you'll show me that this is right? He said, Zechariah, I said, you did not believe, I'm gonna tie your tongue until the day that the baby, man, the baby is born, amen, I'm gonna tie your tongue and you'll not be able to speak. I said, here comes Zechariah, my brother out of the temple and he come out and could not talk and all the men stood by and said, oh, what's happened to this man? What has happened to this man? I saw the Bible said that Elizabeth had that brother, she had a child amen, in her womb and when Mary come down, you all know the story how when Mary come down to Elizabeth's house, her being six months pregnant, had the Bible Bible said when Mary, amen, say amen when, she, when he heard the salutation, how that John the Baptist sleeped in the womb, how brother filled with the Holy Ghost, and the Bible said that when he was born, how that they said we're going to call it, amen, amen, Elizabeth said, how we're going to call his name John, and they said, ain't nobody in your lineage been named John, amen, we can't call him out, how but Zechariah said, give me a piece of, give me a writing tablet, and the Bible said they brought that over and he wrote on it he said his name is John our brother Zechariah obeyed God and Zechariah was waiting on the birth of that boy and that he might receive his voice I'm awaiting on the Lord and that I might receive a body like his body amen amen he got out there oh John grew amen and Jesus grew and I'm done and John got out there, amen, and the, next, out to River Jordan, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Amen, oh, you generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Amen. He said, now the ax is laid through the trees, and every tree that bringeth forth, that's a message right there. What if God was to take the ax through every pew? And I wonder how many he'd cut down. Amen. I wonder how many he'd cut down. Amen. The Bible said the axe now is laid to the root of the trees. Amen. And every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit shall be hewn down. You know where he's going to put it? In the fire. Going to be cast in the fire. That's what he said. Jesus said the same thing in, the other, in one of the other gospels. Amen. Every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit, that God's going to take it away. That God's going to burn it. That brother, amen, you know what we're doing? How we're sitting here like a tree. I planted by the rivers of water. I shall not be moved. How we're, bear, we're trying to bear fruit. I'm getting in the root, which is Jesus. I'm trying to get water from the water of life. And just to watch it and waiting on our Redeemer. Amen. So while you're going through what you're going through, amen, just be that tree. Plain it by the water. Amen. Just a watching and a waiting on the Lord to come. Amen. The Bible said John preached. Amen. Now the famine's gone. Amen. He saw, the, he saw Jesus coming out of the wilderness. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away. You know what we're watching and waiting on? Yeah. Brother Jason, we're going to behold the Lamb of Amen. God one day. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to behold the Lamb of God one day after a while. Amen. I'm going to see him with my own eyes, Gerald. 
Brother Matt, I don't know how long you'll preach before the Lord comes, but just keep on preaching. Yeah. And while you're preaching, watch and wait on God. Amen. It's amen one day. He's going to come. He'll catch many as a thief in the night. Yeah. Amen. But to those that look for Him. Amen. So the famine's gone. John's out there preaching. Jesus in the synagogue are preaching after that. John said, I must decrease, but he must increase. But then after Jesus had done died, been resurrected, had been done been buried and resurrected, the Bible said there there was down there on the day of Pentecost. Amen. They's all together in one accord and one mind up in the upper room. Amen. And the Bible said that here come a mighty a sound as of a mighty rushing wind. And the Bible said that every man, all them men from all them places and all them women had come down to the land of, amen, that land, to, amen, for the day of Pentecost. And the Bible said that when, I, amen, when the Holy Ghost fell on them, it's cloven tongues of fire, amen, fell upon their head. And the Bible said everybody out there, amen, heard the word in their own tongue. Amen. You know what Peter said? I will some of them said these men are drunk on new wine. How Peter said we ain't drunk. It's nine in the morning. How we ain't drunk on new wine. How but he said this right here. How this day is the prophecy of Joel. How fulfilled in your ears. He said your young men. How they gonna see visions. How your old men's gonna dream dreams. Hallelujah. Some's gonna prophesy. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know what Joel went on to say. And whosoever I shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We're there. We're there. Amen. But well, we're watching and waiting on another day. Amen. They waited for hundreds of years, and Peter got to see it. Some of the people that went on before us waited for a long time. Amen. But the difference between Isaiah and Ezekiel and Jeremiah and Daniel and all them old prophets, they didn't see. They weren't here on the earth to see when Joel's prophecy was fulfilled. Amen. But I heard the Bible, I heard where the I read where the Bible said, Amen, one day that Amen that Amen, the voice of the Son of God is going to come out. Amen from the sky. And all them that are in the grave shall hear his voice. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The Bible said that we should not. It talked about all them. I, I preached to you in Hebrews over the Amen Wednesday night, talking about them that had faith. And the Bible said that we should not be made perfect without them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Had the same resurrection we're going. Amen. How that we're waiting on is what they're waiting on. How yes, they died. Amen. They're in the presence of God. How but they're waiting on the resurrection. How we're watching and waiting. I read over in Revelation how we're, amen, the Bible said how that them four and twenty elders and them that were martyred for the word of God. And they said, how long, O Lord, until you pour out the wrath of God? How long, O Lord, until you avenge our blood? How they're just so waiting on it. How they're just so waiting on it. How, brother, I'm waiting on it. I'm watching for him. And he said, what I say to one, I say to all of you, you better watch Watch out for the Lord today. Amen. That's all I got. Amen. If you need to pray, I'd come pray. Just watch and wait. Just watch and wait. Amen. I know today you get tired of, you get tired of waiting for God to move. You get tired of waiting for God to answer prayers in your life. Amen. But while we're watching and waiting on the resurrection, we're just watching and waiting on that. And if God don't move in it before the resurrection, it ain't going to matter. You say, preacher, they'll die and go to hell. I'm, you ought to have a burden. It ought to bother you that they're dying and going to hell. You ought not want to see the Lord come. Amen. With them dying and going to hell. Amen. And you ought to pray all you can. Try to get them in. Amen. Pray, pray, pray without ceasing, the Bible said. Live for God the best you can. Try to get, try to get them in. Read your Bible, study. Amen. Show yourself approved to God. Amen. Try to get them in. Try to get them in. Amen. But oh, while we're waiting on that, we're just waiting on the resurrection day. We're just waiting on the Lord to come. Amen. He's coming one day. There's a lot of things in my life. Amen. I was open after you to come pray. There's a lot of things in my life that I waited for to happen. They didn't happen. A lot of things in my life I looked forward to. And I, I looked forward to as a young as a young kid, amen, as a teenager or something, looked forward to this happening, looked forward to that. Some I waited a long time, they happened. Some I got, amen, some things happened right away. But some things I waited and waited and waited and never got them. And finally realized that it, it just wasn't going to happen. Amen, sir. I mean, just, just little silly things, you know. Amen. But I know I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. I've been waiting for eight years. 
on the Lord to come. Some of you have been waiting for 50 years. Amen. On the Lord to come. Amen. But amen. I'm going to tell you one thing. You, amen. You can't mark it down on the calendar because you don't know when it's going to be. But buddy, you can mark it down that the Lord's going to come. We're just so watching and waiting. I saw when the cares of this world try to bring you down. I just watch and wait on Him. Amen. And when you start to lose track of what you're looking at, I just watch and wait on Him. And when you see all these things come to pass, watch and wait on Him. Amen. 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 Anybody, anybody else say pray? Amen. I, I thank God for the Spirit of God.